hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time i welcome you to my kitchen i am okay i make african food in my kitchen i love nigerian food sometimes i garnish my kitchen with italian food for today in my kitchen i'm making rivers native soup Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. delicious rivers native soup I earlier talked about this soup in another video. Please go and check it out. I showed the whole ingredient, but notwithstanding, I still have the list of the ingredients of the soup. So they are fresh fish, I have fresh prawns, I have ozuza leaf, I have a fresh pepper, I have ofingo, I have ngolo, the white prenko. I have crayfish and I have salt to taste. Let's start the main business. My fish is there in the pot. I've already washed it very clean. I place it on the fire. But the first thing I'm going to show you is how to prepare your fish for this soup. I have the fish in the pot. There is no water in it. Remember, it's a fresh fish. So what I'm doing is to season the fish. I added the Italian fish spices. I added the fresh pepper, onions. I will just cover the pot to cook without any water because it's a fresh fish. It's going to bring its own water. At this point, it has brought out some water. I'm just going to stir it, make sure that the water it brought out mix very well with this is going to make the fish very strong when it will enter the pot you will not have a scattered fish what i'm doing now will just cover it allow the same water that it brought out to dry with it when you see that the whole water that it brought out has dried with it you just remove it from the pot and start your main cooking for the cooking i added prawn I added my white peranko, I added ngulu, I added some onions, I'm just seasoning all the other seafood that is remaining. These ones are not the type of seafood that scatter in your pot. The fish that is a little bit softer than then, I just remove it and I'm seasoning this one. Watch out once again, I'm not adding water in this one because you don't need too much water in this kind of soup. So I just covered it again, allow it to cook very well. The next ingredient to enter my pot is oil. I poured oil, enough oil. I didn't show oil when I was boiling it. I poured enough oil. And another thing that I added is a thickener. I just blended some yam. You can blend cooking yam. I just blended and add to it then cover it to cook after a while i blended the crayfish i showed you guys earlier with scotch bonnet that's fresh pepper i added it again to the pot now all i'm doing is to stir it very well by this point i added just a little water to it to make my seafood cook very well I covered it and allow it to cook again after about 10 minutes of cooking I brought in the fish that I earlier removed all I will do now is just to stir it and cover it again to cook for just few minutes After about another 10 minutes, this is what the soup look like. At this point, the soup is ready. The calabar is when they make the soup. Most at times, they don't add any leaf to it. But for my own use, my own benefit, I'm adding ozuza leaf to this soup. I just sliced the ozuza, added it to the soup and covered it again. After a minute of the ozuza leaving the pot, this is what my soup look like and it is ready, ready, ready. I tell you guys, this soup was delicious, sweet. 
if you like what you see remember to share my video share it with your loved ones share my video with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel support my channel by just clicking the red button it's not going to cost you any money you will not pay but just put some smile on my face by clicking on the red button thanks for watching bye bye